This video is going to cover the topic of long division. Please put the date and topic at the top of your page. Of course, we also have an essential question, and it's short and sweet today, and that is, how do we do long division? Long division can sound like a lot of work, but I actually enjoy the process of long division because it's really just lots of little steps put together into solving one problem. And when you finish the long division problem, it's really satisfying, right? Going through that whole process can be pretty satisfying. Um, so let's see what this would look like. Let's say we needed to divide 254 by 2. A lot of times you'll hear people say, well, count by twos until you get to your number. So count by twos until you get to 254. Can you imagine doing all that? That would take quite a while, and there would be a lot of room for error. Instead, we can set up long division to do this. And long division looks something like this, right? Where you have a number inside, a number on the outside, and a number on top. You might have seen that before. We're going to set up long division to do this. We need to remember our three terms that we've used with division before, so let me just refresh us on that. The first is divisor. Remember, the divisor is the number that does the dividing. The next word is dividend. Remember that the dividend is what gets divided. And the last term is quotient. And of course, the quotient is the answer to a division problem. In long division, it looks like this. The dividend is here inside the symbol. The divisor is on the outside, and the quotient will be written on the top. So remember our example before was to divide 254 by 2. Let's set this up as a long division problem and see how that looks. So in my example, 254 is being divided. It's what's getting broken up. It is the dividend, so it goes inside. And I'm going to be careful here as I write this that they each get their own little space in my graph paper. I'm going to use that as I'm working forward here. The 2 is doing the dividing. It's the divisor, so it's going to be outside here. The answer will be the quotient, and eventually our answer will make its way to the top. To do the division, I use a little mnemonic device that you'll see me reference as DMSB. You can remember this in a lot of ways. Some students have said, does McDonald's serve burgers? Right? Of course, that's a yes, so we know that yes, this is going to work. Some people say, oh, this is dad, mom, sister, brother. That's great. But what it really stands for is divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And you can use any way of remembering that that works best for you, but I just use the mnemonic device DMSB. Let's see this in action. Remember that I was careful at first to put each number in its own space on my graph paper. That's because we deal with each number separately. So I'm going to start with my D. My first question is, does the number 2 fit into the number 2, right? What is 2 divided by 2? Well, 2 goes into 2 one time. I'm going to put that on top because that's the answer, right? It was 1. My next step is M. I'm going to do 1 times 2, and that is 2, and I'm going to put that below. My next step is subtract. I had 2 Subtract 2 is nothing. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. The next step is bring down, and I have a 5 there. Now I go through the whole process again. This is a cycle. I keep cycling through. How many times does 2 go into 5? Well, 2 goes into 5 2 times, right? 2, 4, 6 would be too many, so it goes in 2 times. I'm going to put that above the 5 in that box. Notice how I'm keeping everything really lined up. That was my D, right? Can 2 go into 5? I was dividing it there. The next step is M, multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to put that down here. The next step is S, subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. And the next step is bring down. I'm going to bring one number at a time. Notice how I'm bringing just one digit at a time. And again, it's a cycle, so I'm going to keep going until there's nothing left to do. 2 
can certainly go into 14. If I count by twos to get to 14, it takes seven times. Then I, that was my D, right? I divided 14 by two. Now I multiply, seven times two is 14. My next step is subtract. When I subtract that, there's nothing left. My final step would be to bring down, but there's nothing left for me to bring down anymore. There's no more numbers. I have nothing left over down here. I have nothing left to bring down, so that means I'm done. My quotient is 127. Now that would have been a lot if I had been counting by twos all the way up to 254. Long division isn't really too bad of a process. It just takes a little bit of time to get the hang of it. We'll do one more here in the video, and then of course we'll practice more in class together. This time we have 745, and we're dividing it by 5. So again, we're going to get set up with our long division, so we don't have to count by 5s all the way to 745. And we want to make sure we remember which one, which one of these numbers goes in which place. So the 745 is what's getting divided, right? It's our dividend, so I'm going to put that here inside. And again, I'm making sure that I'm using my graph paper really nicely so that I have lines that I can follow later. My 5 is doing the dividing. It's our divisor, so it's going to go on the outside. I also want to quickly remember my mnemonic device, DMSB, right? So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Those are the steps I'll be using to solve. So 5, we're going to start here. We're going to do 5 and the 7. So what is 7 divided by 5? Does 5 go into 7? The answer is yes, it does. It fits once. And then I multiply. 1 times 5 is 5, keeping everything lined up. My next step is to subtract. I have 2 left over. The last step is bring down. Of course, this repeats its cycle until we're complete. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Now I want to know, does 5 go into 24? I'm dividing 24 by 5. 5 goes into 24 four times. It's really close to 5 times, but that would be too much. So 4 is the closest I can get. That was my D. My M is multiply. 5 times 4 is 20. S tells me to subtract and B tells me to bring down. I'm going to go through this once more, it looks like. what Does does 5 go into 45? Yes, it goes in 9 times. That goes up here in my quotient. 9 times 5, M. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. When I subtract that, I have nothing left over. And of course, I now have nothing left to bring down, so I know I am done. I know I am done here, and I know that my quotient then is 149. 5 goes into 745 149 times. Remember, the essential question was, how do we do long division? This was a nice um, introduction to doing long division. We'll practice it, of course, more together until we've all got the hang of it.